The tenth day of Christmas is one of the most special days of the month because it has um, two digits in it. Yes, All that right. is why. Which is enough of excuse for me to drink and cry out. <sighs> Truck stop honey brown ale. My favorite uh, black forty beer company. It looks floaties in it. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> Brown <laughs> ale, craft brewed well. What's the percentage? I, I, it, it's not. Let's see, let's see. What's the percentage? Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Oh, it's an undetermined percentage. Let's see what we got here, folks. We've got from Alabama. Oh, God, it's Alabama. There might be, some, might be some water of some kind in there. No percentage. Oh, there's no percent. It's 5%, 5, uh, five, uh, five thing. Oh, dude, you got to look this up. Ha ha! Enjoy looking it up. <sighs> truck stop honey ale. I'm going to assume it tastes like a truck stop honey. Take that for what you will. Merry Christmas, fuckos. Truck stop honey brown ale. We all like truck stop honeys, whether they have a penis or not. But I think all of us here can honestly say that we had a couple encounters in the old truck stop. Um, most of them pretty Pretty good, actually. Uh, except for Jeff, Christ, he didn't shave. Um, in any case, though, truck stop honey brown ale. This is from the uh, craft brewed licorice bush. Get and sell. Uh, okay, this is from Alabama, and this is from the the Back Forty Beer Company. Back Forty Beer Company. All right, I've not heard of the Back Forty Beer Company before, but uh, I mean, we got a, a, a sexual envelope for the the Back Forty thing. We got the truck stop honey. I'm gonna guess this probably tastes a lot like having gay sex, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, this medium brown bodied English, or this medium bodied English brown ale is smooth and easy to enjoy. Wildflower honey is used to complement the roasted malts and subtle hop profile. Whether you're preparing for a delicious meal or enjoying a cool southern evening by the fire, you better have your honey. Well, there we go. Spilled on my shirt. Anyways. It does have a nice honey flavor, or honey scent to it. Very light, very... Barely smell anything, in fact. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's delicious. That's a good one. Yep. Um, instantly from the first, first sip, I would say I would buy again, and I would get drunk off of it again. Uh, that's a very tasty ale. Very tasty ale. Yeah, it's sort of light, fresh. Uh, honey flavors to that. Very easy to drink. Um, I'm not sure what percentage it is here. I'm going to go on a limb and say that's going to be fine. And, uh, huh. Can't find it. Well, um, it's it's certainly not like 6 or 7, so I'm going to say it's 5. And it, it does taste fairly light. It might even be like a 4.7, but... I'm just going to say that's 5 and say that truck stop honey, you'll always have my heart. 